Anyway, so I was like, why the hell did, does stubbing your toe hurt so much? Because it literally reduces you to tears, yeah? Yeah, right. it does actually. So I looked it up. Oh, you did? Yeah. I lo- okay. <laughs> is this scientific or is it just this an article? science. Science? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did you look up your toe? I looked up, why does stubbing your toe hurt Hurts so much? much. I, okay. can't, I, 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 I can't do that. I'm not flexible. So What? Look at your toe. Look up my toe. Oh. <laughs> so um, apparently it's right up there with paper cuts. Yes. Because that bloody well hurts as well. Yep. And chapped lips. I get heaps of them. Chapped lips. Chapped lips hurts a lot. But basically it said when you stub your toe, mm-hmm. you're slamming it with a force that's equal to two to three times your body weight. Mm. But, but so it's, that's about the same force as a karate punch. Karate punch, karate. Yeah. But since your toe karate. has only a tiny surface area, yeah. that force can't spread out. So it's literally concentrated it's that- at the point of impact. And that's why it hurts so much. So imagine a karate punch to your tiny toe and it can't and, the, and it just stays there. Yeah. But your toes and your fingers and stuff that you use a lot have special nerve endings called noisy septors, mm. maybe. Mm. Or knocky septors. Mm. Or noisy septors. I don't know. <laughs> and they all fire at once and it blares a danger signal to your brain. But some of those signals travel faster than others, which is why initially you get that intense pain, but then it starts, you start getting these other pains, like these bursts of like waves of pains come through for ages. Is this which just, is why are we just throbs. talking about your pinky still? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which is why it throbs. Right. You know, like you get the first intense pain and then yeah. it might ease and then it like just keeps throbbing like on and on. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> so there's actual science behind it. Right. <sighs> yes. So yeah, after a moment's delay and then a second wave of pain signals reach your brain and then that's when it lingers on and you have these nosy septors all over your body from your eyes to your oh, bladder. That's interesting. But... The, they're concentrated at the highest densities in like the, the your extremities and stuff yeah. like that. And um, that's why paper cuts hurt so much. That's why your lips hurt so much. I The lips, I, I know the lips. The lips when the wind picks up and, 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 and you just, yeah, yeah, it's annoying. Yeah. And because there's hardly any um, padding on your toes as mm. well, that's why it hurts as well. Well, some people got a lot of padding on their toes. But... Researchers, it says, suspect the pain we feel from stuff like a stubbed toe and that yeah. could have saved our ancestors' lives. What are you talking about? 